that there should put a spot on they should put a spot on um, 500 there so I'm going to reset this up now to cut this cut this hunk off here off each side so but I have just had a phone call from the shop and the giveaway prize has just arrived so I'll be slipping down the shop now to pick it up Sorry about the bit of a glary light there, but I can't do much about it. Um, you can see that line, it's 20 degrees. So, if I move that ruler, I don't know whether it looks, you can just see it there, I think. So I've got to mill all that up, all the top off, then flip it and do the same on the other side, so. That'll blend in with the file, I reckon. Yep. Get that nice little pair off there. Okay. Out of it to the bench. Okay, I've been having a bit of a look at this. And I don't like the way it looks. It's too bulky here. So, I want to have a couple of bloody text I'm going to have a couple of slotted holes in here that I'll be able to uh, adjust like so you can slide up into the gap this can slide up into the gap and lock in there then just nip these two screws up so I'm thinking Instead of trying to slot this entire width, whether you can see it there or not, um, you can see it there. Try and get in the right light. This way. Yeah. So the line goes across there, and then down there. And then put a chamfer on this side here just for a cosmetic type show. But take all this bulk out of it. Um, still going to be plenty strong enough. Not going to bend it. Um, I think it'd be a lot better off. So it's going to be quite hard if I try and like try and slot a full depth there. It'd be a pain in the bum. If I bulk that out, I'll make a better job of it. I'm thinking. Um, yeah, might be another job for the shaper. What do you reckon? Sound like a plan, Dan? Just knock this top edge off. Make it look a bit prettier. Now another thing I found was when I measured the gap in the mill, one side's half inch, the other side's a fraction under, believe it or not. So in this here, <laughs> you 
Yep, you guessed it. Do you know what you were guessing? It's a fraction under. Five thou under, four and a half thou under. So when it goes into the five thou side, the one that's the bigger side, it's about five hundred and three thou. It's got a little bit of play, but the other side it hasn't. I can't even get in the other side, so um, that'll be the side I'm going to use, and I'll just yeah, there must be a little burr on it, I'd say. Well, it feels like a bit of a burr in there, so that'll be the side I use. So, a bit of a freestyle build this one, change on the run, it's the way we like it, it's the way Maddie's workshop works, I think. We set back up in the shaper to bulk this section out here. Um, don't know whether you can pick it up on the camera there or not, but there is a scribe line across here and then up there and across the top. So I'll bulk all this out, which won't take very long at all. Um, I'll just reduce the size and make that easier to put the slots in there. Won't be slotting through so much material. There's no real need for it to be on there. Um, sure it's going to be plenty strong enough. Oops, kick the bloody camera. So that's about a 25th hour depth of cut, a 10th hour step over. I'll set an indicator up on this, this side here. Um, when, I, when I'm happy when I get to that line there. Full revolution, back to zero. Should be good to go. Bump the feed rate back down to five thou, to rev, uh, five thou per stroke. Um, this is a fifteen thou depth of cut. Uh, this will be the final cut. Um, just got to be very careful when I get to this edge. I didn't tilt the clapper box. I didn't want to disturb anything when I after I got started. So I've just been taking it very easy up against this edge. Live and learn, forgot to do it. It's only taken about 15 minutes, 20 minutes I suppose to knock that down. 
taking 30, 40 cow depths, yeah. Depth to cut. So it doesn't take all that long. And 20,000, uh, 10, 10 thou step overs, which certainly speeds everything up. I wouldn't like to take much more heavier cut than that in the steel. No good destroying the machine for no reason. Just last bit, last you know, 30 thou by hand. Exactly what it didn't want to happen. Didn't I? Smooth. Side's very smooth. This is not smooth, yeah, overly smooth, but it'll do. Okay. Take her out and debear it. Uh, I've marked two center punches here for a um, six mil hole. Oh, they will be a ream six mil hole that the studs will go up through and go into the bottom of the plate, which I've got to take this plate off. And I'm going to drill these first. I may not even worry about slotting them yet. I'm not too sure, but I've got to drill them so I got something I can make it easier to mark this other plate. So that's what we're going to do. a five mil hole through then I'll ream it out the six. Probably a few more probably a few more setting up procedures doing it this way but it doesn't really matter. It's the way it is. Another one in the bottom drawer. Yeah. Bottom drawer, bottom drawer of the, the top box.
nice fit okay I'll do the other one and I'll bring it back well that's what we ended up with there just put a chamfer on them a bit big on one side but it doesn't matter and I'll go through there nicely so I'll just twist you up there I'm going to take this plate here off now um, so I can mark it and do the yeah so I can drill it and tap it that's what I'm trying to say okay that's what it's going to look like so it sits in that little doobie doobie there and just it'll bolt up under that plate so get a drill now and I'll just spot these holes I can take this plate off, which you've got to take the DRO and everything off it, which is not much. I can take all that off and then um, drill and tap these holes in. Really could do with a set of transfer punches. I'm doing this. Good. Okay, I can take it all off now and drill them out. Well, I was just thinking about it. I might as well just try and drill and tap it where it is so to have to take it all off and screw around with it. Might be a better option, eh? Just do it all right in here. Sharpen that drill first. Well, that was close. Went and sharpened that drill. Had the fire back up into it, and then I thought, that's the wrong bloody drill. Six mil drill, not a five mil. <laughs> Could have been a problem, eh? Nice new sharp tap too. Makes a big difference. Oh, there's two tap tiles. Got to start the compressor up and blow these out, but they should be good. Just got to cut these bolts off. 
Okay. I'll get some some bit of wind and blow up there and clean them out. I'll cut them off camera, them bolts to size. And I'll bring this back then. Okay, do the fit it up here. Not just yet, mate. Okay. So it screws up here quite positively. And that has no movement at all. That's rock solid. <laughs> Should just break the edge, neaten it up a little bit, make it look a bit more sexier. Oh, we've got it all painted up pretty blue now. Put it up the right way, you doggy. Does help, doesn't it? Rock solid, eh? Nuts turning. That spindle's not moving an inch or, an, or, or a whisk or anything. I think that's been a pretty good win. The reason I've done this is if I need to make a keyway in, a, in something small, that that keyway cutter I made for the shape is too big. Then I can grind up a um, just a simple cutter and cut it with the um, with the quill. So that was a that was a reasoning behind this. So turned out pretty cool. Well, that brings this project to a close. Um, that's going to be a, a just a good little attachment to have for later on um, if and when the need comes it on that I can use it I'm sure something will come along where I need to cut a small keyway or um, broach a square hole or do something like that I'm sure there'll be a project come along and I'm I was a bit worried I, I should have made that little square on the end a taper and then slotted the hole so it pushed up on a taper but as it worked out, um, sold really tight. Got the nuts moving, but that top bit, it's not moving at all. Um, yeah, it's rock solid, so I can't be any happier than that. 
so it's actually been actually been a bit of a fun build um, doing a bit on the shaper and then chucking it in the mill and doing a bit I did do it arse about front um, I should have cut the taper first but I didn't um, that's that taper here but I didn't so it doesn't matter I've um, got there in the end so really happy um, don't forget to check the um, subscriber video the 500 subscriber video and grab the email address off there and chuck your name in um, and don't forget too if you want some stickers let me know um, yeah just leave me an email and um, let me know if you want some stickers and I'll send some out. So I've been getting quite a few entries into this 500 draw. Um, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Quite good. So someone is going to be very lucky, I think. Well, yeah. Someone will be lucky. Anyway, that's this job finished. I've got no idea what the next one is yet. Um, have maybe mind up what I'm going to build next. Um, I haven't literally got a list written down. There's things I'd like, but I haven't actually written down a bit of paper to tick them off. I'm not going to um, get more up top. It's not so scary then when you see it on pen and paper. <laughs> anyway, thanks everyone. Hope you've enjoyed that. And um, I'll see you on the next build.